how to show discounts on your product page on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can mark a product as discounted on your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now you can see over here, I have this product that I have, uh, you know, added via a integration. This is a drop shipped product and I want the customers to think, you know, I, they're getting a discount because sales and discounts usually make customers want to purchase your item because they're like, oh, it's on sale. I might as well get it. I'm getting it at a discount. I'm getting it at a better price. So because it's on 50 off, 30 off, or I'm saving this many dollars, I should just buy the product. So instead of just marking down items and listing the new sale price, you want to, you know, put, you know, that cut and then have the new price where people can uh, do a comparative analysis. You know, they have the prices right in front of them. And that is exactly what I'm going to show you guys. So this is what I'm talking about. This is just a sample item that I picked out of this website. So you can see they have the original price then they have the sale price listed in red. So you can format the text however you want, but this can, you know, really prompt people to purchase this item because usually if this item was not on sale and it was the same price as it is on sale, I would not purchase it. But because it's marked down, it's, uh, you know, giving me the feeling of saving it know 50% or 60% on that item I am more likely to purchase it now this can be super easy to add on Shopify you don't need any complicated integrations or code simply head on over to your Shopify dashboard once you are on your Shopify dashboard what you want to do is you want to click on your products now in your product section if you edit your product so if I open up my product I can scroll down and you will see your pricing section so you're not going to find any sale options that are you know direct so you can't really mark a item on sale uh, directly from here you can see you have your price on hand available units you have your sku codes that is it so if you click on edit if you edit a specific product you have your compare at price now after you click on edit on a specific variant of a product, you're going to enter the compare at price. Now, this can be super time consuming. I'm going to show you guys a shorter way where you can do it in a more faster way. So just take the product. If it has variants or if it does not have variants, it does not matter. Open up your product over here, scroll down, click on all of your variants or just click on the product and click on open bulk editor. And this will open up the bulk editor. Now you can see I have all the variants. I have the price and then the compare at price. So you're going to enter your compare at prices. Let's say I want it to be seven and then I'm going to click on save. And just like that, I have saved the variants and now I can scroll down into my product. I have my on hand and the compare at prices. Now I can view this on my online store. Now I'm just going to open this. Now, once I have marked this, I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds for the new prices to be added to my store because it might take a little while for the prices to show up. You can see it's only showing up for one of the products right now. But what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds. But that is how you're supposed to add, you know, discounted prices. You're just going to select and then you have your bulk editor. You have your compared prices, compare at price. And that is going to be the price that you want to display as your sale price. So now you can see that the new prices have been added. I just made a couple of tweaks as well, but now you can see our prices have been upgraded. We have this cut up mark and then you have the new price. Now you can go into your Shopify website editor to change the formatting of the products as well. And you don't have to use any difficult integration. It's super simple and easy. Now, just to show you guys again, let's say I'm going to import another product and I'll show you guys how you can make variable prices for variable product so i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm going to add a random product so let's say i want to add this product and i'm going to click on add and i'm just importing this onto my shopify store 
and you can do this with your own product you can do this with uh, products that you have imported that's the best part about using this because this is natively present within your shopify store you don't have to you know worry if it's going to integrate well with the rest of your shopify integration so you don't have to worry about any of that so i'm just going to add the new product and i'll show you guys how you can make uh, different sale prices for different items so let's say that you're selling out in a item variant so let's say you're selling like multiple different colors of a certain item but even on sale let's say you want to put a 50 percent discount on the colors that are not selling well and a 30 percent discount on the colors that are selling well so you can do that with this as well and i'm just going to take a couple of minutes to add my new product now i've just completed the import for my product and i can go back into my shopify store over here and i'm just waiting for my product now just taking a couple of seconds i'm just going to push this to my shopify store now once my new product has been added to my shopify store i am going to open up this product once i open the product i'm going to go into the pricing section and first i'm just going to show you guys what it's looking like on the e-commerce store so you can see this is what the product currently looks like on my e-commerce store but i want to change the pricing and i want to you know i'm going to put this on the same price on sale but what i'm going to do is maybe for the black color and for the red color i want it to be for a higher price even on sale and for pink and brown i want it to be a lower price so what i'm going to do is i'm going to view open up my product in my shopify uh, store and on the back i'm going to go over here click on open bulk editor now after my bulk editor what i'm going to do is uh you have the compare at price and then you have your pkr price uh your standard price so if we take a look at our previous prices over here our compare at price our regular price is this and then the compare at price is going to be your higher price so if i open this up just as an example for you guys you have your higher price and then you have the price you're selling at and we're going to do the same thing with our crossbody bag over here so i'm going to open this up click on open bulk editor now let's say the original price i'm going to double the original price so let's say i want it to be 10 and if it's the same for all the products i can just move this entire thing down and it's going to copy the entire thing this is great if you have multiple different variants and then let's say that for the red and black i want it to be eight the price should be eight dollars and then for the pink and brown, the price would be $6 or 6.99 like so. And now I can click on save over here. And now if I go on to my Shopify store, I'm just refreshing this, waiting a couple of seconds for my products to be saved. So we're just going to wait for the product to be applied going into our store now you can see our new prices have been added we have this discounted price we have the new price and if i open the product up you can see the red one is selling at eight the black one is selling at eight but if i click on the pink one it goes to 6.99 and for the brown one it also goes to 6.99 so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video